Hello, good evening, and welcome to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. This is the FIFA Americas Qualifiers Game Day 1 Group C game between Dominican Republic and Mexico. This place is humming tonight. Canada also taking on Nicaragua today in Group C. And our focus is on this game. Uh, look at the FIBA World Ranking presented by Nike Canada, who got third place at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Number six, followed by Dominican Republic. After that, Mexico, a little bit further down the rankings, and finally, Nicaragua, who will be hosting the America. A great opportunity for them, but uh, for Mexico and the Dominican Republic, both of these countries looking to continue the good work that they have had really in recent times. Both of the countries were at the FIBA Basketball World Cup, and we saw some great uh, play from both, uh, perhaps uh, in the more important games early on, the Dominican Republic had more success, but Mexico rebounded from a tough start to get enough wins. Uh, so both of the teams will be at FIBA Olympic qualified tournaments uh, this summer. Still with a chance to get to Paris, but right now their focus is on playing hard, playing well, smart, playing together, and playing with a lot of vim and vigor. Uh, they try to get off on the right foot to try to get to the FIBA America 2025. So uh, Dominican Republic coming out and being introduced here to the crowd. Already Mexico has come out and we think that we're going to be in for a good one tonight uh, between two teams uh, that have had their moments in the bright lights of the Americas over the years. Mexico, remember, won the title back in 2013, played at the FIBA Basketball World Cup, and the Dominican Republic have, have really been, uh, I think, the better team in more recent times than a team that has uh, so much potential that one day you feel like they're going to go all the way and win that America Cup title. And, we're going to have a pause for the playing of the national anthems right now. Nos manteremos de pie para escuchar las notas del himno nacional dominicano.
Okay, the national anthems have been played for both of these teams, and I don't know if that was by design or not to lose the music and to have the players and the fans sing, but uh, it certainly went off well, and David Diaz, now the head coach of the Dominican Republic, and all his players go out and meet Mexico and his counterpart, Omar Quintero, at midcourt. Uh, before the game gets underway. The referees, Jorge Vasquez from Puerto Rico, Argentina's Juan Fernandez, and Alan Dos Santos from Brazil are the referees for this game. So the starting five tonight for Mexico, Gael Bonilla, Fabian Jaimes, Paul Stoll, Gabriel Giron, Israel Gutierrez with Rodriguez, Avalos, Andriase, Camacho, Montana, Karim Lopez, and Olalde coming off the bench. There's Omar Quintero, very positive coach, loves doing this job. Does so with great enthusiasm and uh, one of the nice guys, I think, in international basketball, just like this man here, David Diaz. Who's the head coach of the Dominican Republic, and he's going to go with John Montero, Victor Lees, real battle seasoned uh, war horse Andres Feliz, Eloy Vargas, and Angel Delgado with Suero, Solano, Severio Perez, Araujo, Guerrero, Luis Santos all coming off the bench. And uh, David Diaz, who was, Nestor Garcia was at the helm of the team during the World Cup and uh, now it is Diaz that's holding the reins. And perhaps more importantly, the, the players, you know, you've got a lot of continuity in both of these teams. So this should be a very good, fun, entertaining clash. Again, between two teams that have uh, performed very well on the international stage in recent times and looking to get their America Cup campaigns, qualifying campaigns off on the right foot tonight. So 16 teams are going to be at the FIBA Mayor Cup. Excuse me, 16 teams are in these American qualifiers trying to get to the uh, Mayor Cup. And four groups, four teams each. Everybody playing each other home and away in the windows. This window, February 19th to 27th. Then again in November, 18th to the 26th, and finally next February as well, 17th to the 25th. And the three highest place teams from each group will qualify, uh, including uh, the host. And uh, if the host is not among the top three teams of its group, then the top two teams of its group and the host still qualify. So a little bit of pressure in this group when you consider that you've got Nicaragua. Um, as the host, host nation and in this group with Canada, Dominican Republic and Mexico.
Well, hello, everybody. Good evening. And we are underway here and quickly. Mexico coming out and well, they had the shot that they wanted. But Bonilla uh, missing with that first attempt. Now the three point shot is good. As so often happens, Victor Lee's punishes Mexico for missing the layup. Uh, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. So a lot of time to catch up here for Mexico. Bonilla, one of their outstanding young talents. And getting the baseline. Nice handoff. And Bonilla again missing another very makeable shot. I'm sure Lees is tempted to put up another one, but does not. Feliz. Back to Lees and his pass in the traffic and turns it over. Bonilla passes up with the layup attempt this time. Here's Giron. And Giron tied up with Feliz. Not the start Mexico we're looking for. Here's Montero had that key performance for the Dominican Republic helping them qualify for the World Cup. Well, Vargas who's been in this team for a very long time. Here is the drive and Lees has it blocked. Ball goes out of bounds. Paul Stoll was shaking and baking out on the perimeter as he is wont to do. Now Geron, I'm going to make the same mistake again. Bounce pass. Uh, Gutierrez spins and scores. Montero pass intended, intended rather. To, uh, for Andres Feliz from Delgado, but it goes out of bounds. Drives in and scores much better from him. He's got an assist now to go with that bucket after that early turnover. Montero missing it from deep, and now Stoll has it. Caron spins, turns, puts it up in the lane. Short Vargas goes and gets the ball, the rebound. Denied again. Now, a chance for Mexico to build on this uh, early lead. Jaimes. Oh, Jaimes, such a solid performer. It's never, uh, shall we say, artistic. It's not always a thing of beauty with him. It is about hard work, grit. And uh, now, Feliz. That's much better. How about Paul Stoll putting it up from deep? Goes down, gets back up. Catches up and pass down low to Lees. Mm -hmm. 
Dominican Republic back in front. Good play, getting in there. Good, uh, Israel Gutierrez. Good strong take from Delgado. One of the Dominican players that played college basketball in America. Played at the hall and is going to the line. it off to Geron. Puts it up from a long way out and makes it. He is feeling it all of a sudden. Wow. Started slow, but he has turned it up a notch. Oh, nice tip. Eloy Vargas following the miss. Mexico. Left warning on the boards that time. So the Dominicans go back in front. Get on again. Oh, wow. He is, he is taking these shots like they're layups. I mean, they are no problem. He is in the flow already. Lees. He had made his first. He misses, and there's Delgado. Well, this is a uh, this is a problem for Mexico because giving away those offensive boards is a recipe for disaster. Geron again this time does not get to go. He looks at the ref like. He wanted a foul. How about the lob? And uh, perhaps not the right play there. But you got to entertain the crowd. And then Geron steps out of bounds. That was the good from Geron. Here comes Solano. And Andres Feliz goes out. Solano is an uh, explosive player, can hit the runway, take off, and throw it down. Now Montero fouled while attempting the three by Bonilla. Is that a shaky start to the game? Playing in Spain with that daughter just goes to show you how promising his career is at his age. Not even uh, 21 until July 3rd. Makes the second. And the third. Run yeah. gets it on the baseline. Now turns, goes up strong, and he's going to the line. Well, it's all about this man right now for Mexico. Gabriel Geron. 
played at the FIBA Basketball World Cup for the first time last year. He missed out when Mexico played in 2014. He was so happy to be a part of the, that team. Talk about Montero, he's averaging uh, more than 15 and a half points per game in Spain in his 16 games. Hasn't shot it great. 29.4% from three point range. He needs to improve that. And Heron makes the free throw for the three point play. And 13 points already. Step back time for Solano. <laughs> Just overshot it. Caron beats Salado to the basketball. Over to Stoll. Bounce pass. Inside. Good, smart basketball. Sharing it. The tree color. And. Now the good block from Caron and Jaimes picks it up. Now Stoll. And how about Jaimes putting it up and in off the rim and now Mexico go up by four. Montero gets in, misses. No offensive rebound this time. Oh boy, Bonilla again. Mark Antero has to be disappointed with his start and look at Solano taking off. Didn't take him long to get his first dunk. And Bonilla has just been poor. Here is Stoll knocking down the three. Offense not a problem. Still getting. Still getting their points. Question is, can the 12 Warriors get a stop on this end? Oh, Delgado clears out down low. That was interesting. So Delgado looked like he really pushed uh, Jaime over, then went over to help him up during the live action. And it looked like the ball was passed to him, and it was almost turned over, but in the end, Dominican Republic didn't score anyway. That was the previous play, the turnover. Look at Solano get out. And he's definitely got the hops. Stoll steps back. Well, no timeouts in this first quarter, and Dominican Republic with a chance to close the gap. And almost get another offensive rebound. Camacho comes down with the rebound, and Mexico will hold it for the last shot. Dominicans had fouls to give. Luis Santos checks into the game. Macho hands it off. Macho puts it up from deep. And that's how the first quarter finishes. 
Rodriguez also getting some minutes. It's 24 to 19, Mexico on top of Dominican Republic at the end of one. Here in the Palacio de los Deportes in Santo Domingo. Mexico led by Gabriel Geron have the five point lead. You can see one more make inside the arc, couple more makes from three point range. You want the best quarter, the best plays from the first quarter when well, we got them. Victor Lee started things off from the wing with the three pointer for the Dominican Republic. Israel Gutierrez spun his way into the lane and then Geron also got it going. Jaimes scoring in the lane. Andres Feliz banking one in. And then Victor Lee's going inside. Also, Delgado going to work down low. But how about Geron hitting the three pointers? Seemed like the tougher the three, the easier he made it look. Look at this one. Delgado, as usual, active on the glass. That's his reputation. Getting those offensive rebounds. Hey folks, get courtside 1891 in your smartphone. For all the video stream schedule scores and more, download the app. Scan in that barcode and you can get it from Google Play from the App Store. So the second quarter action is underway. High mace from a long way out. It's not, not really his game. And a second. with the rebound. And Jaimez drives in and scores. Shot. To make the Republic look have hit a little bit of a drought here. Solano puts it up. Oh, Caron, an over and back violation. Exactly sure what he's complaining about. 
Nice spin. Oh, traveling is the call. So Guerrero turns it over. Some interesting results in the Americans so far. Puerto Rico losing at home to the Bahamas. That was one of them. Here's Jaime getting it in. Scrap for the basketball. And uh, Camacho getting flattened. Vargas comes back in, the former Kentucky man. Played in the 2014 World Cup in Spain for the Dominican Republic. As did Lees. Caron. This time a little bit too long. Great work on the boards. From Karim Rodriguez. I know, so they do they do award the basketball to the Dominican Republic. But nice activity coming off off the bench for Karim Rodriguez. No look pass to the left corner, and it is good from Juan Suero. Caron bumped. Oh, he is feisty. Gets it back to the top to Camacho, top of the key. Andres Feliz. And the ball goes back over. All right. We're going to turn this over. over to Kareem Rodriguez. He slows it up. Now they pass it back inside. Jaime passes it back out. Ooh, Camacho. And earns a trip to the line. So Camacho has come off the bench is going to go to the line here to try to help Mexico extend their lead. And he does.
It's interesting. Uh, Vargas is going out of the out of the game. And uh, with David Diaz, let's have a look here. So yeah, he has taken some type of knock on the chin. Go get it right back. Offensive foul on Dominican Republic. So it's been a rough stretch. Set. Doesn't have to be close to the basket, anywhere near the lane, or even outside the lane. Kind of like a kind of a push shot. Feliz, nice control of the body, just missed the shot. Now a chance to run. Paul Stoll picks it up, launches it. He goes down again, looking for the call, doesn't get it. And now the Dominicans run, and they get a three. Just with the doctor ordered, Victor Lee strikes from downtown for the second time in this game. So time out of the court. Let's go down to the bench. Leads the second shot, a second three pointer, rather. So, Nesta Garcia announced back in the middle of the month following, uh, he said he was responding to a comment in the or reports in the Dominican Republic that he had decided to leave to coach another national team. And he just said, Listen, he has a a great love for the Dominican Republic. He coached him at the last two FIBA Basketball World Cups, but it's only natural that in his position, without a contract with uh, the Federation, the Dominican Republic, that he move on and find something more permanent. Here's Heron spinning, turning, and missing. I mean, you never know. He might come back and coach again, but they decided to to go with David Diaz and there is Feliz who again when he gets the ball in the lane and really looks good with those short little uh, shots. How about that Kareem Rodriguez joining the scoring party. Mr. Garcia famously coached Venezuela to the FIBA America title in 2015. Got him to the Olympics. Uh, 
Oh boy, that was a tough pass. Leads to a break for Lees. Catches it, pauses. And that is an unforced turnover basically by Mexico. That's going to frustrate Omar Quintero. Hands up on defense. Now quickly and going up for the two-handed rim jammer. Angel Delgado. Omar Quintero calls timeout, tries to put the brakes on this run. Dominican Republic getting back into it and Delgado treating the rim like it's his own little personal jungle gym. Look at him go up and hang on the rim. I see a lot of inexperienced players called up for this Mexico team on this one. I'm not sure if we'll see them until it's late, perhaps. Uh, but right now they've Got the experienced players on the court. Stone. The Dominican Republic close to tying it or taking the lead. Camacho goes out. Hail Bonilla in. Excuse me, uh, Israel Gutierrez in. Hail Bonilla was already in. Delgado, his pass. Intended for the corner, and Jaimez comes up with the steal. Steps in front of that pass, in fact, deflects it away. Credit goes to Israel Gutierrez. Here it is. Jaime missing it pretty badly. Jean Montero going behind the back. Crowd liking the dribbling. Oh. They're loving it. Had that gone in, it would have been a three point play opportunity. He's got the talent, though. There's no doubt about that. Look at this right here. Whoop, through the legs. He gets inside. momentum right now with this Dominican Republic team and Montero inexplicably missed two free throws. He's a good shooter. How about Kareem Rodriguez bringing the spark?
Hoff is a foul. Setting the pick, Jonathan Araujo. Sacrifice his body. I mean, running into a wall goes down, but he gets up now. He is fun to watch. Here he is. And a hold called. So Benita goes to the free throw line. Right now he's with Catheris Basket in Spain. Some of the young guns, young guns applauding from the bench. Hoping they'll be able to get in the game tonight. Just one of two. Delgado passes it back outside to Feliz. Hustles gets it back on the rebound. Here's the whistle, gets it up. Shifty move there from the point guard for the Dominican Republic. But they are having a nightmare at the free throw line. Dominican Republic 5 of 10 at the line, now 6 of 11, so they're shooting in the 50s. That's not going to get it done. Montero trying to get an over and back violation. Five second differential, game clock and shot clock. I mean, if he's kicking his leg up like that, and it and it hits the back of his uh, lower leg. I mean, they're going to give the basketball to Mexico, which they did. It's go time for Mexico. Final seconds ticking off the clock. Nice bounce pass. And Gutierrez fouled. So free throw is coming for him. See the young man check in here early. Karim Lopez, number 21. So Jaimez goes out. Caron back in the game as well. Lopez with uh, in Spain, part of the Club Juventud Badalona program. A lot of big names have gone through there. Hustling down the court. And we'll see if he gets back in the game once the second half starts. But at the end of the first half, nice free flowing game. Kind of came, kind of slowed a little bit there at the end. Dominican Republic trailing Mexico 36 to 32 at halftime. Okay, so five of ten. I thought there were six of eleven Dominican Republic, but anyway, um, neither team shooting it particularly well. Dominican Republic are losing despite out rebounding Mexico substantially, 21 to 14.
Geron's 13 points leads all scores. The Mexican, Victor Lees, has a couple of threes as a part of his 10 points for the Dominican Republic. Second quarter plays here, and Jaime's taking it down into the paint. Suero hitting that shot from the left corner for the Dominican Republic. Then Camacho knocking one down for Mexico. Victor Lees stroking it, his second three of the game. Andres Feliz. Also, has to do a lot of damage in the paint. Kareem Rodriguez provided some scoring. He's got four points. Victoria's catching it, laying it up and in. And again, this is Rodriguez, a little bit further out, still not behind the arc. And we're at halftime, 36-32, Mexico on top of the Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. Education, health, justice. We sometimes take these simple things for granted. They're not common for all of us. We are all born on the same planet, but not with the same opportunities. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are one. We are all on the same team. Let's convince those who never thought they would do it, that they can. We can. Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Oh, 
shot right. The defense on his right side. On the other side, Capasso, Brusino, La Provitola, Dalia, and Deck. It's Capasso behind the back to Dalia, and he throws it down. What a play by Faku Capasso. Vitala gets the switch he wants. Attacks Gabriel Deck. Count it. And he gives Argentina a two point lead. in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Gabriel Geron leading the way for Mexico with 13 points. Streaky player, when he gets it in the flow, he can put up points up in a hurry. And he did that tonight, 13. I think all 13 coming in the first half. He almost stepped out of bounds. Okay, so it could be these big credits with 11. I thought he had 13. Okay, so now now it's uh, apparently it's 11. So anyway, this is uh, Israel Gutierrez. Meanwhile, Victor Lee started things off with the three-pointer. He had another three-pointer. And he's got 10 in the game. Four of eight from the floor, two of three from deep. Feel the crowd wanting uh, to really get excited. And again, pushing up the board quickly. Andres Feliz. Feliz, rather. He's actually at Badalona having a Nice career, professionally, the way things have started off. So we are at halftime. It's the first game for both of these countries on the road to the FIBA America. Cup. 2025, it'll be in Nicaragua. And uh, these are big games, no doubt. Got Canada, meanwhile, tonight are also in the group, and they are playing Nicaragua, and they're up 
Uruguay rolling to a big win of Panama. They're up 19 at halftime. Bruno Fitter Paul to 20 points at halftime for for Uruguay. Also Jason Granger playing again. It's great to see for Uruguay. Of course, USA and Cuba played last night in Florida. USA opened up a 23 point lead in that one. And Cuba really, with only seven players on the bench, you know, overall able to play, came back and made it a real, really good game. Came back late, or came back in the third quarter and pulled it within six. And finally in the fourth quarter, USA, I think, just kind of pulled away, but it wasn't easy. And they're going to meet again on Sunday in Havana. So keep your eyes open on that one. Could could be a, a tasty one. Cuba might get one over on them. They're tough at home. Felice was the second leading scorer for the Dominican Republic behind Carl Anthony Towns at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Felice averaged 16 points per game. Sean Montero, 9.8. Felice was everywhere amongst the stat leaders. 22.0 efficiency per game, averaged 4.6. Rebounds, 4.8 assists. Here's David Diaz, still relatively new in this job with the Dominicans. And it's a, I think, a, a, a great job for him, but it's a tough challenge. Nothing comes easy in the Americas. If you don't have it already, get courtside 1891. Get it in your smartphone, video stream, schedule, scores, and more. Just scan in the barcode on the screen. Uh, you can get courtside 1891, download it on the App Store, also on Google Play. So second half action is underway here. Mexico leading the Dominican Republic 36-32. Game day one. A win is vital, not essential, but vital. And driving in, Victor Lee's getting fouled. Has a chance to go to the line now that's become the leading scorer in the game. Although the Dominican Republic has struggled at the stripe thus far. Makes one of two. 
So it's a three point game. Should be 36 33. Gail Benilla. Benilla, rather. Made the move but missed the shot. Nice bounce pass, but an even better pickup by Felipe. Pass into Delgado, it's knocked out of his hands. And Mexico in a little bit too much of a rush there, turned it over. Trying to get it on the floor quickly. Trying to get down to score before the Dominicans could get set up. Here goes Feliz, takes it deep. Delgado goes up and he is fouled. So that was a touch foul. Not too much contact. And Delgado goes to the line, makes the first. Free throws they have they're accumulating for Dominican Republic. Mexico still searching for their first point in this second half. Montero left wide open and the Andorra man strokes the go ahead three pointer. Dominican 7 to 14 at the free throw line. Oh, look at the turn from Geron. Takes the bump, able to get it up and in. Great job. And now having some words with Delgado. And offsetting technicals. That's just unnecessary from head on. Ordinarily, you wouldn't want to get the crowd on top of you like that, but I think Heron kind of thrives on the conflict. We'll see how he responds after that. And whistle blows. Yeah, so they call technical fouls on both Delgado and Geron, so no free throws, but each picks up a foul with that. And just double checking here, Delgado has two fouls. He makes the free throw. And Geron has two fouls. So you might might regret it later in the game if you foul out that you picked up a technical there. Good job, Delgado. Geron. Gets it to Stoll. Back to Geron. Yeah, he does. He likes the conflict. He loves it. Well, that's how he plays. Montero fakes into the lane, gets swatted by Bonilla, who sprints up ahead. Uh oh, look at this. Lays it up and in, and he's fouled. Great hustle down the floor, and the biggest contribution offensively so far for Gail Bonilla. 
He was fouled by Victor Lee's right at the end. Showed pretty good speed. I thought he was going to try to dunk it at first. And he does indeed get the three point play. And, and where we are right now is a big, big play. Mexico had been struggling. So to get something in transition is a big bonus. Israel Gutierrez commits the foul. Oh boy, that's a big one. Now he is in foul trouble. Mexico already over the limit. Look at that. So yeah, the technical foul adds to that. Now you get a foul a long way from the basket. Gutierrez has three fouls. And the Dominican Republic goes to the line. Now they haven't been shooting well from the free throw line, but this is potentially a big opportunity here for the Dominican Republic. Get some easy points. And sure enough, Felice makes both. So Gutierrez goes out. Macho comes back in. Geron thinks he can take Feliz. He's trying to have a little bully ball against Feliz. A little bit more size. And that's a blow not having Italy Vargas, one of the most experienced big men in the Americas. Quick pass down low, and Jaime lays it up and in. Here's Feliz. Pass to the corner. Gets him back. Nope. That is, uh, yep, yeah, that is a sweet shot from Lees. I mean, excuse me, from uh, Feliz. Andres Feliz. I know when he played college basketball at Illinois and stole, what have they called here? Remember, Mexico already over the limit. And have they called him technical? No, they say he fouled Montero. Watch this. Okay, they're saying he stuck his right leg out and tripped him up. If it was Montero that was fouled, why is it that Delgado is shooting the free throws? That's not right. Oh, no, sorry. They called a technical foul on Paul Stoll for, I guess, for flopping, for simulation. I don't fully understand why we saw Delgado at the line. Here goes Stoll. Back outside, wide open, high base. And with 15 minutes remaining, Dominican Republic, another opportunity. Delgado with the offensive rebound. No. A push. That's a great call. He definitely pushed him. I had my doubts, but on the replay, it was clear. Delgado pushed 
And now he says, okay, you're right, I did. Gail Benita driving in and scoring. He's got the length to be able to drive in and, and put it up over most of these players in this Dominican team. Camacho, how about that? Big Luis Santos playing a little bit of bully ball with Camacho. Wow, the handoff ends up with Geron. Geron. Now Feliz has it. And you can feel the energy ratcheting up here in the Palacio de Deportes. Santos, who just scored, pulls his way down, gets blocked by Bonilla. Geron. Why not? Nineteen points, his fourth three pointer, and purely with his offensive output, you'd have to say he's the MVP so far for Mexico. Brings back memories of that game against Jordan. A nice answer for Feliz, who is also becoming his team's most important player. Jerome getting into it with Andres Feliz. And Jerome baited Feliz into the extra contact. Look at how oh, Santos, I think, got a little bit too uh, comfortable thinking he was going to get two in a row. Look at Jerome here hitting the three. One of two. Crowd getting excited about something on the court. Montero. Probably because Montero's out there. Here he is. And gets blocked and fouled. Vargas already having to wear that bandage. So I'll catch, look like a, some arm. So once again, it's a two-point game. Mexico can't shake the Dominican Republic. Stoll almost turning it over. Geron has it. Oh, and Geron turns it over. Montero. The charge called. Uh-oh, look at Camacho getting into it with Eloy Vargas.
Oh boy, look at Camacho and Vargas. Now they've both been teed up. But Vargas might be a little bit uh, Camacho getting under his skin, just like Geron got under the skin of Feliz. And I don't think the Dominican Republic needs to fall for it. I mean, these, these guys have played each other before, so there might be some history here that we're not fully aware of. Over and back. Okay, so Postol says, you're the closest referee. You tell me, look. Oh, I don't know. It is indeed. That's, that looks like a good call. Referee Vasquez wants to call his fellow referees over just to discuss. So Dominican Republic basketball. 12 minutes and change left in the game. Pass to Santos. Oh, good work by Paul Stoll. Look at that. Ends up in the in the crowd. They're gonna help him up. He's not the biggest guy, so I'm sure they're okay down there. Look at this. Here you go, have some sweat on me, no problem. And so Perez had the ball go off of him. He stole. Stole just three points. One of seven from the floor. Hasn't been a good night shooting for him. I think Elor Vargas just has to maintain his calm. Mexico are, I think, trying to get under the skin. So the foul was called, so Vargas is going to the line. Jaimez picks up foul number four. Oh, he did get it. Wow. I mean, first of all, Jaime's is tough. So he may be a little bit dazed. So Vargas can tie it up. And he gets the long rebound. So even though he adds to the woes at the line, they've got another possession. Montero, the, th the uh, jump shot is good. So they end up getting three points. That trip down the floor and the Dominican Republic have the lead. Omar Quintero needs to push the reset button. He calls timeout. So we'll go down to the bench and listen in.
Wow, the three-point shot from Geron, his fifth of the game. He's got Mexico right now on his back, and he's trying to carry them to victory here in Santo Domingo. Nobody boxes out Santos, and somehow Dominican Republic do not come away with points. They're right there. And get here on the basketball. Oh, how about Karim Rodriguez? That doesn't make it this time. How about Montero? Oh, a little uh, shimmy dee, shimmy do. 13 for Montero. He's been heating up in this quarter as well. And it's the Dominican Republic back on top. it with the free throws tonight and with the foul trouble Quintero is going deeper to his bench Stoll makes one of two to tie it For the ball, it's not going to count, doesn't make it anyway. So, with 10 minutes remaining, we're still knotted. It's 56 56. Quarters in the books, 56 56, and look at this. Dominican Republic now at 60% from the line, so that's margin, that's just about as low as you want it to be, but Mexico in the 50s. One of these teams is going to end up regretting their missed free throws tonight. And that team obviously will be the team that loses because they will have lost a lot of points at the line. think that we would see that man come back into the game at some point. By the way, for these two teams, Dominican Republic will in their next game on Monday play at Mexico. So get used to this matchup, folks, because this is how it's going to be <laughs> in this window for these two teams. I guess they'll be traveling together. And they go to they go to play in Mexico City after this. Here's Montero. I'd say it's a pretty safe bet that you will not have Italy Vargas and um, Jorge Camacho sit next to each other on the flight. Gutierrez back in the game. He's got his foul troubles as well. And also Feliz and Jerome. 
They had a little altercation, all of a sudden technicals. So I don't think they would be sitting next to each other either. Here goes Heron. Backing up, spin, puts it up, and gets it to go. Put himself in a spin cycle. Knocked it down. Goodness me, he's got a big number today. Twenty five points for Heron. He had 11 at halftime, so he's got 14 in the second half. Well, that was a nice move, but again, it's the rebounding of Santos that bails out. Juan Suero, who came close but didn't make the layup. And I guess that was a pass to Gonzalez. Gail Bonilla, Gail Bonilla missing everything. Mexico have led for most of the encounter, but the biggest lead has been nine. Mexico probably could peg them back since then to take the lead, but now we're knotted. Santos. And again, offensive rebound and put back, this time by Eloy Vargas, who has taken off the bandage. That kind of thing can really bother you. And I dare say, Geron surely is going to get a touch here. Geron has been the one player that has, in these situations, been able to make shots. Stole. Tried to deliver the bounce pass. Look at this up ahead, and Suero lays it up and in. It's going up. Offensive foul. It's because he kind of lowered his shoulder. That was uh, Stoll's fault, trying to make the bounce pass. Turns it over, and the Dominicans go the other way for a break. Montero dumps it to Santos. And boy, what a reprieve that was for Mexico. They should have fallen behind by six. Geron, they pass it around. A little bit out of Kareem Rodriguez's range, it appears. What's this, Luis Santos? Oh my, it's not just the work inside, it's Santos stepping outside and drilling it. And suddenly it's a seven point lead for the Dominican Republic. Well, they got their biggest lead of the game now. Mexico in trouble. Of all the things that you would expect to happen or you think might happen, having Santos step outside behind the arc and make a three is not one of them. That's what it was right there.
las últimas noticias estadísticas y otros detalles. Visita a Mercado Because before that sentence has also missed a couple of shots around the basket. He's got seven points, three of seven from the floor, two of six inside the arc, and he's made his only three. Oh, nice fake. And then Bonilla didn't make the shot. Stole me while his shot gets blocked. Oh, nice tip from Jaimes to Bonilla, who goes up for the dunk. <laughs> Looking like Mexico were going to come up empty on that trip. If they can get a stop here, go down and score. Here's Sueto. Good job, Jaimes. Wasn't in position to get the rebound, so he hit it hard off the glass to give Mexico a better chance of getting the rebound, which they did. Nice bounce pass. Boy, that was positively fluid. Gutierrez. Wow. Mexico just scrap it away. Getting the dunk on the previous possession. And Gutierrez with a little bit of a little runner. That's a shot they practice. Look at Victor Lees. Guessing he'd like to go back in. So David Diaz tells his guys what he wants. Look at this. Man, you should be able to make that shot. It's kind of. It's almost like a layup. He's just releasing it a little bit more, going right down the middle of the lane. I like the fact that he wants to say thank you with the low five to his teammate. And that allowed Geron to have a little bit of a rest. Refocus. Get a little bit of juice on, on the sidelines, a little bit of water. And He's coming back into the game. Driving and missing. Look at Vargas getting the rebound and put back. So I misidentified Yasel Perez earlier. It was a Called him Suero, and there's Yassel again going in for the dunk. And again, this is coming right out of the timeout. Four consecutive points, and the lead goes back to seven. It's all about energy. How about that? Bonilla stopped, then just kind of leaned in, scored. I think the crowd was wanting to travel. They're like, did we just see that? That was quite a quite a response by Bonilla. Montero for three. Rattles out. Paul Stoll. Paul Stoll gets it back. And Gutierrez, one pass too many. I think they knew it was coming. Jaimes was down on the low block. It's good that he's looking, but if it's not there, you can't make that pass. Montero gets it to Vargas. Oh, wow. Eloy Vargas, he who laughs loudest, laughs, or is it he who laughs, last, last, uh, last loudest? That could be the case for Vargas. He'd had a tough game up to this quarter. He's hit a couple of big shots. Jaimes. Remember, he's got the four fouls. Shot clock violation. And Dominican Republic in winning time are making plays, making shots, dancing in the stands. 
And let me remind you, these two teams are going to get it on again in this window. So this is the first of two. It's effectively a doubleheader for the window. They just don't play on the same day. Montero dazzling with his dribbling. Yesel for three. Yesel Perez and the Dominican Republic have the wind in their sails. Their biggest lead of the game, 10 points. Good catch, Caron. Not going to be able to get it off, so he gets it back to Jaimes. And again, he scores the way that Gutierrez scored with a little runner in the lane. Three and a half minutes remaining. It's all about getting stops and rebounds if you're Mexico. Santos hands it off. And foul called on Mexico. Who are not over the limit yet. Oh, so they've called a technical foul on Quintero. Not a good time for that. Still giving uh, the referee Vasquez a piece of his mind. Now Quintero is going to be upset. Goes and talks to the people at the table. And remember how Montero missed those free throws earlier in the game? He's now six of eight. So that's how uncharacteristic it was of him to miss two consecutive free throws. And the lead is nine. Wow, he is a scorer, isn't he? Once he feels it, and look at that. The crowd knows his name. Look at him. What a star. 78-66 now, the Dominican Republic on top of Mexico. Who called timeout to try to make one last ditch attempt here. They also want to shorten the difference in terms of uh, managing the margin of defeat if in fact they do not come back and win. Montero, what seemed like a quiet night, well, he's now leading the team in scoring 17 points. Also has seven assists, quite a performance. Mexico played pretty well. They led for most of the game, but the fourth quarter has really been tough on them. They have been outscored 22 to 10. So they came into this quarter tied, and it's been all Dominican Republic in this final frame. On. And, rem and remember, they don't want to have the margin grow, but it looks like it might.
Lou Montero is mesmerizing. Oh my goodness. What a player. He's just uh, taken over. And Stoll loses it out of bounds following the attention by Montero. Well, Stoll's played pretty much the whole game. I mean, he's not as fresh as Montero, who's been able to sit down. And now, crunch, now winning time, Montero is able to come out and give his best. Santos and an offensive foul. Santos plays for Guada. Calderon tripped up. And then he's helped up by Juan Sueto. I mean, you look at you look at what Calderon has done tonight, and you cannot have any complaints with his scoring. 25 points, nine of 14 from the floor. He's got four rebounds. He, I mean, he's turned it over six times, but obviously that's not what you want. You want, you know, be much more acceptable to have maybe one or two. But at the end of the day, he's also been trying to make things happen. Kedron looks good, but it was long. Pauling intercepted, stole, steps up, and knocks it down. Back to an 11-point game. And, and right now, Mexico, they need to really hunker down and try to get this margin of defeat as small as possible. They need to be smart. They need to be intelligent. It's not just about the win. It's about managing the margin of defeat because if they can beat the Dominican Republic in that next game by the just one more point than what they lose here if in fact they do lose then they would be above them in the standings Feliz has been sitting for a long time he comes back in the game Oh, Jaimes just uh, asking for the ball to be turned over. And look at that. Doesn't look like the Dominican Republic are worried about <laughs> managing the clock or anything. They just play free. Bonilla, he misses. And with a 13-point lead now, it looks like the Dominican Republic not going to be in any rush. You're just going to take some time off the clock. Well, David Diaz has to be pleased. His first game is going to come out with the win. Stoll goes down. Quintero immediately asked for an unsportsmanlike. Yeah, okay, they're going to huddle up, and usually when they huddle up, they're going to go have a look at it. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to look at it and see if they want to upgrade this.
No. There's nothing unsportsmanlike. I mean, you can't blame Contetto for trying. And again, Paul Stoll has played a lot of minutes. I mean, the only thing would be is if they called the unsportsmanlike. Let's see who they called the foul on, because it did look like. Yeah, it was Felice who pulled it. Now that looks like an unsportsmanlike. I thought they'd called the foul on Suero, and right there, is he going for the ball or is he going for the hand? I think they might call this an unsportsmanlike. Yes, they do. Okay, this is a huge opportunity for Mexico. I mean, it has been tough sledding in this fourth quarter for them. And uh, once again, the closer they can get, they they could literally get four points on this trip, even five if he makes both free throws. And then they get a three pointer. And in the grand scheme of things, they can shorten this uh, margin of defeat. Ooh, and Stoll makes just one of two. So it's a 12 points, 12 point difference. And they also want to go quick because then they don't know they'll get the basketball back. Oh boy. Got they got what they wanted. They just didn't make the shot. And now the Dominicans have a chance to win by 14 or even 15. Montero's going to take it down. Okay. He launches it. Oh, they did not get the rebound. And that counts. And that just rubs salt in the wound right there. Feliz getting the bucket to take it up to a 14 point win. And that is an enormous deficit, really, to try to overcome at home. So in a potential head to head tiebreaker, it looks like the Dominican Republic are going to regardless have that advantage 84 to 70 Dominican Republic win it. Eight more free throws made by the Dominican Republic. A few more shots inside the arc they ended up shooting 56%. Look at the rebounding. 16 more rebounds. And Montero just came out and had an electrifying second half. 19 points in the game, 25 for Jerome was a game high. So the players get some photos with some of the fans because after all that's what part of this is about as well the fans to come out see their national team get the selfies get the photos to blow them up put them on the wall and it's all about celebration time now for the Dominican Republic who has started with a win. So looking back at the fourth quarter. Jerome adding to his tally. Santos became a problem. Yes, he did. On the boards. Aloy Vargas as well.
Then you had Montero playing terrific. And also Yassel Perez. And this was Santos. You felt like it was going to be the Dominican Republic's uh, victory when Santos hit that three pointer. That was Mexico just trying to stay in the game at this point. They get a couple of quick baskets, force a timeout for the Dominican. And Republic and then when the Dominicans came back on the court they just effectively put the game away that was a terrific move or adjustment by Bonilla to score Perez making that one from deep. Montero just pouring him in. He was just fleet of foot. They couldn't keep up with him. The way he was kind of dancing around the court, scoring. Then you had the lob. And again, it was Yasel Perez going up. He finished with nine points, Yasel. And the last bucket of the game. To make it a 14-point win for the Dominican Republic, they ended up outscoring uh, Mexico 28 to 14 in the fourth quarter. So the standings after today, Canada getting a win over Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic defeating Mexico. And again, the teams will do it all over coming up in a few days time. The game in Mexico City will be on Monday. So they had high hopes Mexico getting the win tonight. That would have put them in really good position. Geron had 25 points, but they just weren't as good as the Dominican Republic who came out and came out strong in the fourth quarter to pull away for victory.